Morning guys, 51 Foxy. Uh, this is just a quick video, this is a quick look at it video, uh, then there'll be a review later on. Uh, but I've been after a new spade for metal detecting. Uh, I've had a little rough neck spade, it's been alright, like, but not bad. But So I've been looking about and I saw Emric's um, video on MDF uh, and I got in touch with JR Stainless, uh, Smashing Company, and I looked at them, their website, uh, and the one that I picked is that. It's a beauty. It's solid stainless steel. Now you can have these made to your own length, up to I think a metre. Just over, this is this is 35 inches, I think this one is, or thereabouts, 35 inch. Obviously you can have them made shorter or whatever. This is the V blade. I'll bring it a bit closer so you can see it better then. You've got that great handle on it, so when you're digging you can just shove it back and it'll pull plug out. Also, what I like about it, I've ruined one pair of £60 wellies metal detecting and the top's turned over so you're not going to cut your wellingtons or your boots. Plus you've also got mega sharp teeth on it to cut through roots and through hard soil and things like that. Really sharp, brilliant. Very, very well made. Yeah, GR Stainless, made in Great Britain, in England. So overall length on this, from tip to top, is about 35 inches. What I wanted. Like I said, you've got four inch across the bottom and about seven across the top. They do, do you know, and they do just this shape, they do different shapes, uh, they do uh, uh, sand scoops and everything. So if you go onto their website, uh, grstainlessteelproducts.com, uh, I'll put a link in the description box. Uh, you can see what products they've got, and different size spades and different things like that. And they've made to your own thing, made to your own specification. And on this one, it's got two little carabiners on, two lugs. Obviously you can take these off if you don't want them on. So, you can just get a, a belt, like so. a great idea. And put it over your shoulder and carry it. If you've got a lot of walking to do, you can wrap it around your neck, whatever you wanted to do. And it, as you can see, as you can see not, it fits, hangs lovely. Don't catch on your trousers or out like that, it hangs spot on. So what we'll do now guys, well, now we've had a look, we'll have a, uh, go and give it a bit of a test this morning. All solid, solid D-grip on it, solid stainless, heavy, but that's what I want, I don't mind. I like something robust rather than these wooden shafts, you put a bit of pressure on, or a cheap spade, put a bit of pressure on it and it snaps or bends or whatever. This is going to, this is going to be a one-off investment to be honest. This will lash you out and your grandkids and everything out of this. This is a cracking spade. Really, really well rust, well made, stainless, not going to rust out on you. Fantastic. So what I'll do guys, now you've had a look at it, we'll go and have a, uh, we'll go and have a little bit of a dig with it. Fetch you back in a bit. Hi guys, uh, back out on this old house. 
Uh, out in my new bed. See our stainless steels. Gonna uh, hopefully give it its first dig today. That will get uh, turned on. Try settings it's programmed on 70 ID 10. You can tell the difference when you get IM signals tracking nil, audio tone for vibration off, bike light off. So, what we're doing now is just ground balance it. guys bring you back in a bit Let me show you this guys how little effort this is look at that absolutely awesome fantastic bit of kit just digs it out as easy as all. brilliant rubbish we've got in this hole. It's really hard to give you one hand and show it at the same time as so the Writing on that, we'll look later on. Catch you a bit. Look at that guys, in with this wind and that. That's nice and decorated. That bottle is. It's like a shoe bottle. Old shoe bottle. That's nice. Nice. Well decorated that is, look at that. Beautiful. Cool. Moving on. I've just altered the settings guys on this. I've put it down to an ID filter down to 10. As before, I had it on like 40, but you were still digging, it weren't showing up iron. So therefore, you were still digging good signals, don't get me wrong, but you hadn't got the iron like burp 
if you know what I mean. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. You listen to the difference in this one. That's about, oh, I don't know, two and a half foot or high. Clear, clear tone. You listen to this of this old horseshoe. Can you hear that? Like somebody's got a bit of a problem. You can hear that little bit of a burp at end. Good signal. But it's also got that burp at end, so you know therefore it's iron. Clear. Bit of a trumpy sound at end. Oh, that's it so far guys, when you've got a little bit to do, you know, well a little bit, I probably might get it all done today, I don't know, depending on how long I can stop for, so we'll see how we get on. So that's the difference guys between that, so I should probably have it on that setting all the time now, instead of digging up all shoes that you can't, if you put it on to like 40 ID filter, it just comes up with a good signal, it doesn't show you no, you don't get no iron sound to it, so I shall keep it on 10 and then just listen out for the iron sound. So, right guys, catch you in a bit. Hallelujah, we have a coin. That's where it's been, look. I don't know what it is. It's an old half penny. Victoria, can't see with my eyes, it's terrible. Probably better see it date better. It's 18 summer it is. It says young Victoria look, young bunhead. Awesome. Lovely green patina on it I know. Spot on. Cool. Carry on. Fresh your back guys, just found that look. Not quite sure what it's had a little stud or was an earring or something like that. Nice and decorative for you. Cool. Moving on. Fish back guys. Old musket ball. Good old musket ball. I'm not far off the end of this now. Finish to this rail today and then back into other field across there. Hold me up next time. I've been trying to get permission in here but he doesn't seem very happy like so. Anyhow, never mind. Tell you what guys, I'm not just saying this but that spade, it cuts through it like cutting through butter. Fantastic. Get a bit of kit. Love it. Pure stainless steel. Two and a half. Bit of kit. I've been looking at uh, a different pro pointer. I've been looking at 
getting the Nocta, the new one, it's just come out. It has uh, orange caps on it, the scraper. Uh, very good. We'll see. Alright guys, I'll catch you in a bit. I'm getting excited here guys. Look at this, how deep that is. I'm just hoping that this is what I think it is. Come on, come on. Ah, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's enamoured I think, but it's, there's that you can't see out on it. What a shame. It's blank. What a nightmare. Totally blank, can't believe that. Whether I better get out, out off it when I get home or not, I don't know. What a nightmare. It's definitely an armoured coin that we had to shadow it out. It's just blank. Nightmare. I'll have a look when I get in guys. Catch you in a bit. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Uh, I'm going to go home now. Uh, I'll clean these up and if I want to report or I can see how I'll tell you. Uh, I'll do a little round up when I get home, there's not much to report really like but... It's so just a shame that uh, hammered coin with no detail on it. Never mind, that's where it goes. Another thing guys about this uh, macro racer. Just turn it on for you. Look at the battery strength. I have not changed the batteries in this yet. And it's still on full batteries. After all this time. It's still on full, can't believe that mate. Amazing machine. Really pleased I bought it. Right, guys, we'll catch you later on uh, in the roundup. Bye for now. Right, guys, for roundup, um, I'm not going to show you the old scrap. I found a few bits of lead and bits and bobs and that lot. Uh, no interesting at all. Uh, this young Victoria, one head, uh, the date. Is 1862. If you can see that, Jim, it'll zoom in. 1862. That one, I, 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 I don't know if I can see a head on it or not. I think it's just that I'm trying to make a head on it, to be honest. It looks like some slight writing right corner on it, but I, I just cannot see. I'm trying to make a head out of it, I think, <laughs> than what I am, really. Looks like there's some writing right edge, but I just can't make it out at all. That way, it looks like a George III, that way. But I don't think it's a George III. It wouldn't be hammered if it were George III, anyhow. I don't think. But other sides just totally gone. Well, both sides are totally toasted like, but there's just nothing at all that side. Don't know. Then the old musket ball. That looks like a little earring, an old fashioned earring. It looks like it, or some type of bit of jewellery, I would have thought, or some stud, or something like that. Looks like it's copper, or something like that. 
And then today this lovely bottle. Lovely shoe bottle. We have flowers on a lot. Very nice. So alright guys, that's it for this one. Um, what do I think of the stainless steel spade? I think it's fantastic. It cuts through turf like a hot knife through butter, it's lovely. Uh, like I say, it's not cheap, but then again, it's a one-off investment that you make. It's going to last you for years. Um, yeah, I really like it. And yeah, I'll do some more reviews on it once I've used it a bit more. And, uh, but I like it, it's good. It's a smashing, uh, smashing spade. Uh, out with macro racer again. I do prefer it on that to be honest on two tones uh, on 10 for ID filter because you can always hear the the iron as well with that one on 10. It picks the iron up but you can hear the difference between iron uh, and non-ferrous and ferrous metals. So yeah, like them both, great combination, new speed, new macro racer, brilliant, so, right guys, that's it for this one, uh, if any of you lads who's interested want to come to Baza this weekend, we've got two or three spaces spare this weekend, some's backed out, we can't make it, so if anybody watching this and wants to come camping to Baza this weekend, let me know ASAP, uh, and we'll try and sort something out. Right guys, that's it. Thanks for looking, thanks for your comments, thanks for subscribing. Bye for now.